Math Coach presents How to Read a Number Line. A number line shows numbers in order. A number line can go in any direction, but we most often use a horizontal one. Notice that a number line has an arrow on each end. That means the numbers go on and on, all the way to infinity in both directions. The point labeled zero is called the origin. Numbers to the right of zero are greater than zero and are positive numbers. Numbers to the left are less than zero and are negative numbers. We can use a number line to represent whole numbers as well as the fractions and decimals that lie between them. We use the idea of number lines when we measure things. An inch ruler works like a piece of a number line. The inch marks show whole numbers. The marks between show fractional parts. A thermometer also works like a piece of a number line. This thermometer shows zero degrees Celsius, the freezing point of water. On a Celsius thermometer, positive numbers show temperatures above freezing. Negative numbers show temperatures below freezing. Negative five degrees, brr, that's cold. You can read any number line in three easy steps. Step one, locate the benchmarks and find the interval between them. Step two, count the equal segments and find each length. Step three, skip count to label the marks between the benchmarks. Let's use this example. Step one, find the benchmarks and the interval. 400 and 500 are benchmarks. 500 take away 400 is 100, so the interval is 100. Step two, count the segments in between and find each length. Here we see four equal segments between the benchmarks. 100 divided by four is 25, so each segment represents 25. Step three, now we can skip count by 25 from 400 to 500 to label the marks. 425, 450, 475. That lets us identify points Q, R, and S. Now you know the three-step trick to solving tricky number line problems. When you remember to do these steps first, you are sure to solve it right.